Hello and welcome to SnackTube. I almost forgot my joke last time, so I'm going to start this video with my Christmas joke. So, what do you call a snowman with a six pack? The abdominal snowman. Yeah, I know. Okay, today we've got yet another Christmas treat. Something I found in co-op. So I was just in there just doing a bit of shopping as I usually do. And um, just looking for random stuff to review on the channel. And I happened upon this, which was something I've never seen before. Um, so I don't know what they're like at all. And uh, yeah, I thought it would be interesting. So I thought I would get it. So here's what we've got. On the third day of Christmas, my true love, myself, gave to me some, because you can't really read that, milk chocolate Libkuchen hearts. Yeah, these are from the co-op. They are called Libkuchen hearts. Um, I looked it up because I don't know what a Libkuchen heart is. I looked it up. It's some kind of a German thing. Um, apparently, you, you make hearts and then you hang them up and you give them to your loved ones or something. Um, of course, these you don't hang. You just eat them. So, they are lightly spiced cakes with a rich apricot filling, apricot filling, with uh, coated with smooth milk chocolate. So it's got chocolate, it's got cake, and it's got apricots in it. All things that I am fans of. So I'm quite looking forward to trying these. I've never had them before and they sound really nice. Uh, so let's have a wee look at our nutritional information. Um, so these are vegetarian. Is always good to know. Um, obviously not going to be vegan because there's going to be milk in the chocolate. But per chocolate heart, which is approximately 16 grams, you've got 60 calories, which is about 3% of your daily allowance. Uh, 1.5 grams of fat, which is 2%, which is not bad. 5% um, of your saturate, 0 0.9 grams, which it does say on here is high. I suppose for the portion, that's quite high. I don't think these are very big. Can't really tell through the packet to be honest. Um, 6.2 grams of sugar, which is high, 7%, and 0 0.05 grams of salt, so not really any salt. What are our ingredients in this? I'm imagining nothing too fancy. Apricot filling, 28%, syrup, uh, glucose fructose syrup, sorry, sugar, acid, gelling agents, so that makes up all the apricot stuff like that. Uh, wheat flour, milk chocolate. Uh, it's got soya, it's got milk, spices, cinnamon, anise, clove, fennel, coriander, your typical Christmassy spices. Yeah, so it's it's cake, it's chocolate, and it's got apricots in it, so should be quite nice. Quite looking forward to trying this. Um, yeah, so we've got these in the co-op. These were a pound, so they were quite cheap, and seems to be a pretty decent portion, 150 grams for the whole bag. So let's bust it open and have a have a wee sniff. It even comes with a wee a wee stickery thing so you can close the bag back over if you don't decide to eat them all in one sitting. Which I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna eat them all in one sitting because I am still on a diet at least until Christmas Day anyway. Ooh, immediately I'm smelling the apricot. Hmm smells lovely. They actually are quite big. There you go. That's one apricot heart. That's 60 calories right there in my hand. Heart shaped. Smell chocolatey. Smell apricotty. Smell quite good. Um, there's quite a few in there. There's about, mm, about 10, maybe 12 in there. So that would make sense. Uh, 16 grams each, so it'd be about just under, just under 10. So yeah, there's, there's probably about 10. Um, otherwise the mask doesn't really work out. So, I suppose there's not much else to say. I'm quite interested to see what this is going to be like. So these are Co-op's Milk Chocolate Lebkuchen Hearts. Let's go for the old test test. Okay, they're really nice. I have to say, I was expecting them to be crunchier. 
I was sort of expecting it to be sort of more gingerbready than, than cakey. But definitely as cakey, it's quite soft. So it's quite soft cake. The um the apricot filling is really, really nice. You can really taste the apricots in it. The chocolate is good. And you do get you do get all the all the spices and everything, so it does sort of feel like a Christmassy kind of gingerbready flavouring. So definitely does feel like it is the season. Um what another one. Mmm. They're really nice. The cake's good. Nice and soft. Hasn't gone stale. I don't know how new these are, like when they were made, but they are best before is April, which isn't too, which is about four months away. Um, cake normally doesn't last that long, although I suppose Jaffa cakes and things like that do tend to last a while. But yeah, really, really nice. The apricot filling is really sweet. Definitely can taste the apricots. The cake. It's soft and spongy, and you can taste all the different spices, the cloves, the cinnamon. So it's got a very much a Christmassy feel to it, and the chocolate is chocolate. It's nice. Hmm. Well, I'll have them again. So I might get some more of them before Christmas actually rolls around. Put them in the cupboard. Hmm. Really good. Pleasantly surprised. Mm, lovely. Right, well, fairly quick one today. Uh, don't, we don't need to go on and on about it. They're lovely. I think you should give them a try if you haven't had them before. Very, very tasty. So that was today's video. This is the third day of Christmas. And we've got... There's 12 days of Christmas altogether. So we've got nine more days to go. Final video on Christmas Day. And... Uh, yeah, so subscribe to the channel because there's going to be a new video every day for the next nine days. This is the third in a 12-part series. So if you haven't watched the last two episodes, you can go back and watch them now. They're right there on the channel. Um, check out some other videos as well. Have yourself a Snaptube Marathon. There's loads to choose from. Loads of different stuff to choose from. Check the channel as well because there's playlists on there about different varieties of food. So some is just all microwave stuff. Some is just um, all the vegan stuff that I've tried. So things like that. So go have a look and see see what you fancy. And uh, if you want, you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook and all that stuff as well. All the links are in the description box where you would normally find them. Um, you're all smart people. I'm sure you can figure it out. Well, thank you very much for watching. This has been day three of our 12 days of Christmas. I will see you tomorrow for another hopefully tasty snack. I haven't bought it yet, so I don't know what it is. We will all find out together. I will see you then. Cheers.